Jordan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So with the whole coronavirus and all the disease scare that's out there right now, there's a lot of negative energy, negative vibrations, especially if you have to go grocery shopping. Uh, you better do some heavy shielding, right? Um, so viruses, sickness, disease, those sorts of things transfer to us from a spiritual, mental, emotional, then a physical level. They can also just go from straight physical to physical, right? So to kind of help protect you against developing any sort of flu or illness, I'm going to give some very practical, down-to-earth and simple techniques that you can use to kind of beef up your energetics, shield you from negative energy, and also to just kind of overall enhance your own immune system and physical vitality for this next few months that we have all this activity going on. So first off, let's start with some symbols. So the first symbol that I really like is the Ankh. The Ankh is just the basic female symbol, right? The circle with the little cross on the end of it. But the Ankh has a slight more of an oval shape with that same, uh, you know, arms to it. Okay, so the Ankh is a symbol of life, right? Excellent, right? So what you can do in the morning is you can draw that symbol on in golden light, right, with your fingers. Imagine that there's um, golden energy coming out of your fingertips. Draw it right like that and then push it into you then draw it again and push it in front of your auric field so it's right in front of you and then on you know left right behind you above you and below you okay another one is again depending on your religious or spiritual background you can edit this as, as well but for me i say creator's light 20 feet in front of me creator's light 20 feet behind me and i can just feel the energy go right creator's light 20 feet to the left of me creator's light 20 feet to the right of me Creator's light 20 feet above me, Creator's light 20 feet below me. And then what I like to say is whenever anything interacts with my auric field, it interacts with Creator's light. And then I just visualize this light coming down and it's filling up my auric field. And I, I'm completely surrounded by this energy, right? And now if you aren't align, aligned with the source, you can just say, you know, your patron's name or an entity that you really like. You know, their energy in front of me, behind me, left of me, etc., etc. It can be applied in many different fashions. And this just kind of helps to keep out other people's energy from your auric field, uh, as well as just overall, again, strengthens your own energy. Another really powerful tool is if you stand up and you put your arms out, right, and you spread out your legs, that's, that's the pentacle, right? That's the star. The star is spirit, fire, earth, air, and water. It's all the elements in perfect balance, right? It's, it's perfect homeostasis. If we were all in perfect balance, if we got sick um, due to an excess of the water element, it would easily be balanced out by another element that would just fix itself automatically, right? So the pentacle represents optimal health on all levels of your being, right? So what you can do in the morning is stand up straight like this and visualize that you have another arm coming out of you and goes down to your left foot, all the way up to your third eye, back down to your right foot, all the way over to your left arm, back over to your right arm, and then back down again to your left foot. So that way you're energetically drawing the pentacle, connecting all of your limbs together. And then once you draw that symbol on you, I want you to just visualize and see it glowing brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, if you have a certain um, god or goddess uh, that you like, you can chant their name as you're, as you're visualizing this energy. See it glow to like a flaming electric blue, right? And just hold that visualization there. Okay? Another really important thing to be doing is to be blessing your water. People think blessing is like uh, with, you know, the popes. And you have to have all these different popes bless the water. You can bless the water yourself, right? Um, if you're a Christian, you can, you know, draw a cross. And again, energetically with, with light coming out of your finger. And say, you know, I bless this water in the name of the divine Holy Spirit. Hold them in the similar be and push into the water for optimal health for me. Okay? Or if you're more Wiccan, you can draw a pentacle, you know, the invoking earth pentacle, you know, and invoke the elements of balance, etc., etc., to bless this water. And then you just kind of move it in a clockwise manner, blessing, enhancing, and enchanting this water to assist me in having optimal health in all levels of my being and putting a shield of ultimate universal protection around me. Right? And then see that energy light up when you say it. Okay? Another one is, again, to bless your food. Um, so draw sacred symbols on it. Again, like the Ankh, the Pentacle, the Cross. There's also the Om symbol. It's like a three with like a, you know, like a waning moon symbol and a dot right on top of it. And then you can even vibrate, you know, Om, and see it light up as you're vibrating that, that word. And then push into your food. When you're eating food, if you have like, you know, some eggs and rice for breakfast, whatever, right? You can swirl the energy, swirl energy of light, swirl energy of love, swirl energy of, you know, optimal health, golden energy. You see it flowing out of your fingertips to bless this food for optimal health. 
Another one is oils, guys. Um, the very basic oils that you guys use doTERRA, the doTERRA On Guard oil, it's selling out really quick. Um, so if it's sold out by the time I post this video, you can also substitute with different oils as well, like such as clove, eucalyptus, right? You just want to take these oils and rub them on your chest where your lungs are, all right? Very healthy, very healthy. Um, another thing to be doing is if you have a friend who is sick or they have a weaker immune system, is you can be doing some juju for them, light a little candle for them, say some prayers. Um, very simply, just get like a white tea light, carve their name on it, carve some sacred symbols. You know, hold in both hands, call on your allies to please bless and hands and enchant this this uh, candle to send love and light and healing energy to X, Y, and Z uh, to heal them and give them health optimally. Here and now, a whole minute, some be. Right, it's a really simple spell. Do that three days in a row. It'll help them significantly. All right. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? Oh, showering with intention. This is very important. Showering with intention. Um, get like a really nice scrub brush, okay? And while you scrub your skin, you're going to want to see it light up. Again, gold or white energy, whatever you really like. Scrub all of your body and see your pores opening up, opening up, opening up, opening up. Until you visualize your pores just like massive holes in your skin. Once you have that going, then breathe in energy. Visualize golden light entering your whole being as you breathe in. Okay? And kind of feel that energy. You can feel the vibration as you breathe in. So do it with me. Hold it and then visualize your whole body and auric field becoming pure gold. Okay? Do that about three times. Next, breathe in again. This time, breathe in through all of your pores as well. Breathe in that golden energy through all of your pores. And as you exhale, visualize your entire body becoming pure golden light of ultimate universal protection. Do this a few times. You're going to want to do it quite a bit. The more the better, right? Uh, you, can't, you can't do that, that one enough. That's just excellent for anybody in any situation. Build up your energy body. Super healthy for you. Mm, what else? What else? What else? Oh, selenite. Selenite is a crystal that cleanses and clears itself automatically. Very high vibration. Okay, so this is selenite. Okay, it's very uh, flaky. It can't go in water, but it's a very high vibrational crystal. Okay, selenite. This is the normal selenite, and this is red selenite. Red selenite, again, it self cleanses, self clears itself, and it never needs to be cleansed. Not never, but pretty much never needs to be cleansed. And this one's more for the emotional transformation, okay? This one is just everything light, high vibrational, upper dimensions, angelic celestial realms, right? And it cleanses and clears itself, which is crucial. So if you have negativity in your in yourself, you know, internally, emotionally, mentally, physically, or spiritually, negativity in your environment, etc., that attracts negative things to you. Okay, like attracts like. What you can do is you can invest in four pieces of selenite, maybe for 20 bucks, maybe, you know, four pieces. Before you go to bed, put each piece in, uh, put one piece in each corner, and then energetically, again, see that light coming out of your finger, and draw a line between each selenite, and then raise it up. Like, like see, you're like making like a grid of energy, and then raise that grid up of energy all the way up to the ceiling to cleanse and clear you as you sleep. Um, you also want to give these crystals a job. How you do that is you hold in your left hand, Right hand on top, call in your spiritual allies, ask them to please bless and enhance and enchant this crystal to do X, Y, Z, cleanse and clear me on a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and soulful level, uh, assist me in building more light and put a shield of ultimate universal protection around me. Here and now, hold them and somebody be. Okay? And that kind of alters the energy of the crystals and also strengthens it. So, highly recommend everyone invest in some selenite. Four pieces of selenite is all you need. This size is perfect. Just get four of them. Again, grid it. Excellent. If you have a lot of roommates, I highly recommend that you get some selenite towers. They're a little bit more expensive. You don't have to buy the crazy expensive ones, though. I think like they're more like um, 10, 15 bucks per tower. You can probably find a set of four for like 30 bucks or something. Put them in each corner of your house. Again, that channels the energy down. Grid it. It just creates an amazing, clean feeling throughout the whole entire house. All right, so that brings me on to my next point. Like attracts like, correct? If your house is messy, you're going to attract those energetics to you. Okay, so cleaning your house, keeping your house clean is going to help to kind of make the energies more balanced and it assists you in being more balanced yourself, right? 
Same thing goes for work. Clean your work environment because work and home are one and the same. Okay. So, got a few basic tips here. Put on some sacred symbols. Do some showering with intention. Write the poor breathing. We have crystal gritting. Um, another one you can do is this uh, mudra. This next technique, it isn't going to be for just about any, for just everyone and anyone. Um, so I do encourage you guys to listen to your intuition before trying this out. Uh, basically, this is a uh, Japanese hand symbol paired with a, a mantra and that kind of increases your vital energy uh, and kind of really empowers your solar plexus to an immense degree. So the mantra you're going to be saying is Om Haya. Vajra Man Taya Swaha. Okay, you're going to be repeating that, chanting that. So you breathe in, and then you ex when you're exhaling, you say it three times, while visualizing that your solar plexus, right right above your belly button, is just this massive solar uh, sphere of powerful energy. And while you're doing this and saying the mantra, and you're with that visualization, you're just thinking about that you are a powerful being. You refrain from comparing yourself to anyone else, just saying, you are a powerful being, you have the right to act, you have the right to action, etc, etc, etc. Just keeping that visualization, feeling your body warm up with heat, and just seeing that solar energy just kind of flare out with you. You know how the sun, um, have you ever seen, seen like um, documentaries of the sun, how like there's like little waves of energy that come off of it? See that coming off of you, but like vital power emanating from you on all levels of your being, just this energy of strength and power, okay? So, those are some really good tips and some really good tools to be using. Uh, I hope it all works for you well, and have a blessed, blessed week. If you guys like to schedule with me, I do do Invocation of Paths, I do Life Force Transference, and Insights. Thank you so much. Cheers.